Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce one of the most fundamental but very important concepts in engineering and material science, especially for polymer materials, which is the glass transition temperature, also referred as Tg. By definition, the glass transition temperature is a temperature when the materials, especially for amorphous phase, turn from glassy, which is relatively solid form, into the rubbery state, which is relatively soft. But like most of the scientific definition or engineering terms, for the first time when we hear about it, it is always relatively difficult to remember and to understand it. So I always like to use the live using examples to help people to memorize it and to understand it better. So imagine you're just cooking your dinner and what you're gonna do is uh, you need to cut your chicken breast or chicken thigh into slices. So what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it easily is that either you need to cut it from a frozen state which is relatively solid or you're gonna cut it directly from the room temperature form which is relatively soft. It's always easier to cut it in the solid format, isn't it? The reason of it is because when it's taken from the freezer or taken from the fridge, when it's cold it's glassy because it's below the glass transition temperature of that chicken breast or tide. So what you're actually doing is you're cutting a very solid format of it, make it very glassy and easier to fail in the brittle manner. But once it's been warmed up in the room temperature, especially slightly heated, it's going to become well above its glass transition temperature and all the polymer chain is going to become softened again and tangled together so it's going to, when you cut it, it's going to become relatively hot. So all the polymer chain be below the TG is going to be in the format of rigid, very rigid form while once it's heated up above the TG, it's just like um, a bowl of spaghetti it's all become softened, entangled and um, tasty. So that's, that's how this TG actually behave and help engineer and scientists to determine what materials they're gonna use in their design in their designing or in their material selection. For instance, if you really need the materials at the room temperature behave like in this rubbery a soft format, like a rubber, natural rubber or silicon rubber, what you actually need to select is the materials with the TG which is well below the room temperature. So when you're using it, it's in the rubbery format, in the rubbery state, so it's all become soft when you use it. And if you need something really solid and stiff at room temperature, you need some materials possesses a TG well above the room temperature. So when you're using it, it's well below the actual TG, so it's always, always in the glassy state and at room temperature, for instance, it's always very solid. So that's actually helped me a lot how to remember all those engineering concepts, scientific terms, definition by using daily or daily life examples. And um, well, hope you like it. And uh, hopefully you're gonna try to revise your revise all this concept and remind yourself when you cook tonight. Thank you very much.